Jason Ritter and Joanna Garcia Swisher welcome a special guest on tonight's episode, and we're happy to welcome Joanna back to the three o'clock. Yay! Hey, Joanna. <laughs> Thank you. I love that. Now they're not giving us any clips, but I'm guessing we're going to see a, of this particular actress, Leslie Jones, tonight yes. in a different way. Yeah. Uh, well, she's she's very uh, she's amazingly Leslie Jones, but um, she was a big fan of our show and just showed tons of support for it and it sort of happened really organically and we were just so excited and I was you know casually trying to hang around the production office I didn't have the, the scene that she shot I wasn't in it with her and I saw her and she came and she gave me this huge hug and she knew everything about the show and wow. she's just a real deal but you know if you look at her Twitter and her Instagram and she's just super supportive human for like good things and <laughs> she's just like a, she's a good gal we're used to seeing her on Saturday Night Live but now we will see her on Kevin probably saves yes. the world tonight yes. we're also going to see a somewhat deep conversation that you have with your daughter on the show because we're, you're not quite convinced of Guardian Angels. I think you want to be. Yeah. Your daughter believes in it, and here's the clip. <laughs> you're proposing that God sends these magical beings down to Earth to watch and follow people like your uncle. And, and they do what? I don't know. They help them, they talk to them, protect them. Maybe. Okay. Well, well, that would mean that not everyone gets a guardian angel, right? Because if everyone had one, then no one would get hurt. Yeah, she needs a guardian angel next season. If we come back next season, <laughs> I want to see her with a new character. I know. You know, Amy is a scientist, <laughs> so she doesn't totally uh, know about this whole, you know, God and, and, and the afterlife or anything like that. But also, too, what, in one of the, like the, towards the end of that scene, I sort of explained to my daughter that, you know, if there is a God, then why would he take someone like your father who was such right. a good man. And so I think that, you know, one of the things that attracted me to this role was that in the show is that there was just as much levity as there was heart. And I think that that is like a perfect example of, you know, that we can make you laugh and make you cry all in one episode. Mm -hmm. And so um, I, I love that about her character, that she's still struggling so much. My character, that she's still struggling so much. Has the conversation with fans changed for you? Because I think that people do like this kind of deeper meaning that your show offers, and I'm just curious if they're asking you kind of spiritual questions now. Well, the interesting thing, the thing that I'm most proud of and most proud to be a part of the show um, is that it's kind of uh, created this whole culture of, you know, paying it forward and doing random acts of kindness. And there are these blue butterflies that our fans would start to put next to their Twitter handles. So you'll yeah. see that all of our cast has that. I think actually Leslie Jones does too, but... Um, mm. <laughs> but yeah, it's just one of those things that it's like, it's kind of gotten people to stop, think, and just say, you know, it's okay to do nice things. It takes just a, even if it's a smile or opening the door for somebody, I mean, we've gone as far as to see people pay for other people's groceries and, and do kind things like that. But really just about connecting with each other and taking the time to do that. And um, so if that's, if that's what the show is and the imprint that we leave, that would be something that I would be incredibly proud of. Well, before you leave us, we're so thankful you came back for a second visit. Yeah. But I, you t reminded me that I introduced you to Garth Brooks yeah. at the CMAs. Who else do I need to put on the list so the next time I, am I see you? I have it in my purse. Okay. <laughs> the list. I literally cried. I was like, I, I, t oh, I no. revealed that I was obviously a huge fan. You couldn't deny it. And he's like, I just interviewed him. And oh, he's walking up right now. I was like, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. And then he was like, hey, Garth. And I was like, oh. George so, knows everybody. We're going to yeah. get her another star soon. But anyway, yeah. don't miss Kevin Probably Saves the World. It's tonight at 10. It's right here on ABC7. Hmm. Well, 10 o'clock? Yeah. Yay. Nice. Tune in. People are going to be asking George, can I meet Joanna? Oh, yeah. <laughs> when Joanna was on the last one, I was like, Oh, oh, you're so, so sweet. I've been watching your career for so long. Oh, so happy for you. Well, we'll see you next week. Yeah, why not? <laughs>